Students and staff members from Chattanooga's Center for Creative Arts had hoped to go overseas next year. But Hamilton County School Board members have voted against it. Dallas Payton finds out why. Dallas. Cindy David, all overnight field trips must be approved by the Board of Education. The board denied the request because of the turmoil overseas. Hamilton County Schools Board of Education District 3 representative and chairman Joe Smith was one of seven board members to vote against the trip for Chattanooga Center for Creative Arts students and staff on Thursday. We live in a very unsafe world, so I was just very uncomfortable with approving this field trip overseas to Germany. The proposed field trip involves activities related to the 80th anniversary of D-Day and includes tours of World War II sites in the UK, France, Germany, and Australia. The trip was planned for June 2nd through the 14th and involved 18 students in grades 8th through 11th and three staff members. My thinking is we live in a very, very dangerous world today. And I feel like if, if a parent wants to take a child overseas, that's fine, that's fine, that's their, their decision. But we have to look out for the safety of our kids first and foremost. We want to give them great ex experiences, but we got to make sure that they're safe. Smith says what's currently happening in Israel played a part in his decision. Certainly it was in, in my thought process, but we, we've, the, the whole world, there's, there's trouble everywhere. When you have a group of, of American citizens together, it's almost like they have a target on their back. For now, Smith has no intentions on voting for any overseas trips district-wide. That may change later on, but uh, for the foreseeable future, I'm just not going to approve Personally, this school board member, I can't speak for my peers, but personally, I just don't feel comfortable with any of our kids going out of the country right now. Now, Ben Connor voted for the trip to go forward. He says the field trip that wouldn't even take place until next summer is voluntary and should be up to parents and students if they want to attend. He says the board also let down men and women in armed forces. We'll have more on his statement inside our app. Cindy.